Hello and welcome to the news in English live from Mogadishu with me I am Omar Nur the top headline is include Ethiopia claims to have killed the top Al Shabaab commanders during a border clashes on Friday Somali president has spoken about the increasing insecurity in the capital Somali Prime Minister His Excellency Hamza Abdi Barre has strongly condemned the latest Al Shabaab suicide attack in Baidoa that killed a regional minister and his son. You'll also watch that U.S. Special Envoy for the Horn of Africa has arrived in Ethiopia uh, to push for peace talks between the Tigrayan rebels and the government led by Abiy Ahmed. Welcome back to the news in detail. Ethiopian forces reportedly killed three Al Shabaab men leaders in the latest military operation in southeastern part of the country bordering Somalia. A joint Ethiopian Defense Force and Somali Region Special Forces operation in Ato district, uh, where Al Shabaab opened attack on Friday after its fighters were whipped out. In, in two villages earlier in the week, eliminated Fuad Mohammed, also known as Shongole, who is said to be chief of the coordination of Al Shabaab militant attackers Abdul Aziz Abu Mus'ab, the military operationist is spokesman for the group, and Ubaida Nur Isa, who is said to be head of Al Shabaab fighters along the Ethiopian border. PBC Amharic Service on Friday said Somali region government official announced that the Al Shabaab forces on Friday morning opened a fire in Ato and there was an exchange of gunfire between the two sides. Fuad Mohammed has a bounty on his head for the United States of America has announced a five million uh, reward for information leading to his capture or his death. Fuad is said to have his Swedish citizenship. Major General Tasfeya Ayello, head of the deployment and the Ethiopian Defense Force and coordination of the Security Command Post, has confirmed that the Ethiopian state media a report that Ethiopia news agents uh, three Al Shabaab leaders are killed near the Ethiopian border on Friday. Apart uh, from the killing of the leaders, the terrorist group lost uh, hundreds of its forces as the Ethiopian Defense Forces and Somali Regional Special Forces responded to its attack in two Somali towns bordering Somalia Ad and Yed. Vehicles that the group used uh, to attack the Ethiopian forces have also been seized, according to the Ethiopian National News Agency. It was not immediately clear that the claims of the Ethiopian military are true, as Al Shabaab has claimed it killed more than 100 Ethiopian soldiers during a Friday attack. Last week, the terrorist forces were in circulate and whipped up and those who survived to surrender to the Ethiopian forces according to the Ethiopian state media report. Al-Shabaab has attempted on operation on Friday for the third time in less than a week. More than 200 of its fighters were killed in two different locations in the same part of eastern Ethiopia. Mustafa Mohammed Agjar, the president of the Somali regional state of Ethiopia on Thursday warned that Al Shabaab made attempt to launch a new attack despite devastating defeat in the same week. He has also announced uh, they will create uh, a power security zone inside Somalia to protect 
Ethiopia from Al Shabaab attacked his major general Tasfaya is saying the same thing. He said the group may attempt another attack in months to come. Al Shabaab has not yet remarked about the death of its three top leaders in Ethiopia. Somali Prime Minister Hamza Abdi Barre has strongly condemned the latest suicide attack by Al Shabaab in southwest state of Somalia on Friday that killed Regional Minister of Justice Sheikh Hassan Ibrahim Lukbur and his son outside a mosque after Friday prayer in Baidoa city located about 250 kilometers south of the capital Mogadishu. Prime Minister Hamza Abdi Barre said that acts of terrorism will never discourage the efforts of the people and uh, the government of Somalia to strengthen security and achieve lasting uh, peace in the country. I send my condolences to the minister's family and the entire Somali community praying Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to grant him the highest place in Channa, he said in a statement. Elias Ali Noor, information minister for the regional state, said his counterpart for justice, Hassan Ibrahim Lugbur, and one of his sons were killed uh, by an explosive device uh, detonated soon after leaving the mosque in Baidoa after performing the Friday prayer. At least uh, 11 people of Somalia, including another son of the late minister, were reportedly injured in the Al Shabaab attack. The attack uh, becomes the second uh, within two days by Al Shabaab. The previous attack in Marco that was carried out a suicide pamba has killed the mayor of Marka, Abdullahi Wafu, and 10 others. You are still following our news in English live from Mogadishu. Somalia will receive 100 million US dollars uh, grant to enhance uh, reform efforts and strengthen uh, fiscal transparency and post revenue. In a statement to World Bank, uh, which approved uh, the grant, uh, said funds will support uh, the continuation of the Somali's reform efforts in reaching uh, the completing uh, point. Uh, of the heavily indebted poor countries uh, initiative when Somalia will be eligible for full and irrevocable debt relief. This operation will increase the government's fiscal space to respond to the drought situation while continuing to support reforms that advance progress towards attaining the debt relief Wealth Bank Country Director for Somalia, Christiana Svensson, said in a statement issued on Wednesday evening in Mogadishu. Financial institution also said the operation supported the government's effort to improve fiscal transparency and increase revenues through the harmonization of the customs region across the federation and improving the governance of integral governmental and fiscal transfers. According to the statement, uh, the grant uh, will help uh, create building uh, blockers for strengthening intergovernmental and fiscal cooperation to enhance ongoing state stabilization agenda critical for stimulating inclusive economic growth by fostering trust, 
enhancing the financial transparency between federal government and member states. Together, these efforts will help improve the government's ability to continue to provide cash transfers for the country's poor and most vulnerable, including the women, which are critical coping with mechanism of amid continuing the stories the World Bank has said in their statement released in Mogadishu. Mogadishu with me, I am Omar Noor and the entire team of the program I leave you bye for now.